a film slowly slips into the box office. Unexpectedly, you end up watching an interesting movie. Abhinay Dev's film, Savi, I don't know how many of you have heard about the movie. I've heard no whispers, leave alone noise about the movie. Starring Anil Kapoor is one such movie. A very interesting film starring uh, Divya Kosla, Harshvardhan Rani and Anil Kapoor in the main roles. It's a story based on a French film called Paw Alley. I hope I've got the pronunciation right. It is also based on the life of, uh, on the epic of Sati Savitri from the Indian epics. To the uninitiated, Savitri was the woman who saved her husband by sheer intelligence and grit from the jaws of death, the Lord Yama. When death seemed inevitable, predicted, precast, she proceeds to marry him and by sheer grit and intelligence saves him. Savi is inspired thematically from the story, but in the real, moved to UK, England, where a happy family of the threesome comprising Savi, played by Divya Kosla, a husband, Nakul Sahade, played by Arshwardhan Rane, and their little kid, Aditya, played by Mairaj Makar, live happily for one fine morning. The Brit cops tap the door and uh, Nakul is arrested as a suspect in a murder case. He's also sentenced. Apart from the needless cinematic story of he running into a drug mafia, getting beaten up, moving to a hospital, which gives a context in the larger sense later, the story revolves around how Savi is not going to give up. She knows that there's no chance for her husband to be out from the judicial system as one who's not guilty. She decides, therefore, to have a prison escape, the great escape. This is no papillon, but this is a story about a woman whose grit determination ensures that her husband gets freed up from the jail. Little too far-fetched, you would say, for an Indian woman staying in the UK to even think that she could get her husband off. And therefore, within the scheme, the script, is a justification with a character called Joy Sen Gupta, played by Anil Kapoor, who comes in as her saviour. Some amount of a lack of clarity as to why he takes so much of interest in her. The end seems to suggest something, but it's very bizarre, very unclear. The central theme of the film deals largely with Savi, how she manages to get her husband Nakul out of jail. Will it happen? Yes, it does. It's not. You don't have to be a film buff. You don't have to be seeing the movie. Anyway, very few people are. Therefore, I can tell you that it's obvious that she's going to succeed in her plot. The detailing is in how does she plan it? How does she come out? and what kind of assistant she has. There are typical scenes like the rush, the run, the Tom and Jerry inevitable between the police and uh, the victim, the vanquished, the runners, those who are running from the law, those who are trying to protect the law. There's a few rhetorical or cliched scenarios notwithstanding. Abhinay Dev keeps you engaged. Keeps you engaged for almost for the two hours plus of the movie, and that is what works for the movie. Anil Kapoor, the role of the central character as the man who makes the escape possible, is as usual sly, smart, one liners are, are plenty, and an actor who now does these kind of roles almost with the air, air, air of a somnambulist. Perfect for the role. And he carries, on, carries it off with 
characteristic is. I wonder why Harshwardhan Rani doesn't get more films. He has the shape and chisel. He has the emotive face. Lack of backing in the commission field, I don't know. Certainly deserves more attention. Performs well. Performs very sincerely. It's not very easy. You know, you could typically compare Harshwardhan Rani with somebody like Vinod Mehra of the 80s and the 90s. Here were actors who got roles merely because they were they were there, they couldn't really emote at a very high level, but managed. Harshwardhan is almost in that slot. He can act extremely well, but unfortunately has been brought down to that level where you give him a good role. He has some face value, but he doesn't have enough star value, and that is unfortunate because Harshwardhan Rane is a good actor. And he requires more attention. Uh, Divya Kusla, I think, is a disappointment. I would have loved to see the likes of maybe uh, Tapsi Pan, or Chitrangadasi, uh, or somebody at that time uh, doing uh, the film like this because the film is so, so much dependent on the value of this actor. Even a Pariniti Chopra would have done a great job out of this film. Unfortunately, Kosla doesn't have the star wherewithal to carry a film of this kind. Does she have the acting wherewithal? I suspect she does not either. Uh, she's not able to translate her anguish, her anxiety and her emotions in a manner that a Tapsu Pani or Tapsu Tapsi Pannu, I beg your pardon, or even a Pariniti would have really done. It's a great opportunity for some of the good actors, and I think this is a case of poor casting. This is not withstanding. It's a film unsung. It's almost gone out of the theatres, but if very soon I'm sure it will be on the OTT platform, and I recommend that those of you who have the time do watch this movie. It makes for interesting view. On that count, and as I sign off, customary acknowledgements to Tatu and Abhinav, and on that note, bye-bye.